good morning welcome to goodwill commodities in this video presentation we are going to see how we can trade in mcx copper market today and for this week after a very long time we are uh, we have started posting for copper market also uh, before looking into what we can do for today and for this week uh, since we are posting this video presentation after a very long time you should know the price action what happened on the last few days so what i'm going to do is that whenever i place the cursor on any particular candlestick you can see the date and time below from october 8th we are going to see the price action what happened i had marked all the support and resistance line for easy understanding now you can see the date and time below on october 8th you can see this was the area where the market opened which shows around 455 so after the price opening it came down and it broke the key resistance zone from there it went up till 459 so the price could not stay there and you can see the price came down and our charting platform also indicated a selling and closed around 457 near 457 the next day what happened since the price opened below the key zone of 455.8 you can see the market came down for selling and it straight away came down and tested the next support zone of 452 this was the price action that happened on october 9th so the price was continuously taking a resistance around 452 you can see after dropping down continuously it's, it's taking a resistance around 452 now let us move on it tries to take some support above that but it is not quite successful in doing that so the next or in the same day the price came down below 452 that pushed the market down and you can see the price in the same day the price came and tested the next zone of 446 so the price was taking a support here on october 10th what happened you can see that was uh, last week thursday the market just opened a bit higher and the, you know that this is a key resistance zone 452 since the price could not test or move above this 452 it again came down and it is testing this 446 zone whenever we say a support or resistance it is a zone and it is not a single line we want to make this very clear in all our video presentation we are saying this and we are repeatedly saying this again and again so after a very long time the price could not stay above this so a breaking of the key support zone which is a breakdown that pushed the price till 442 which is the next support zone so here you can see after the price could not stay uh, the even the price was breaking below 442 from here the market picked the momentum and it is trying to test this 446 again so this was the price action that happened on october 10th now you can see that the price was testing this 446 uh, on last friday that was october 11th kindly follow the date and time below whenever i place the cursor on any particular candlestick we are following the price action because uh, since we are posting this uh, video presentation after a long time we need to know what happened earlier now you can see this 446 was acting as a resistance and pushing the price down so the price was staying between 442 and 446 so this is what happened on uh, uh, on uh, friday so the price was taking a hit between 446 and 442 at last the price was quite successful in testing this 442 again but in the late evening session you can see the market just got some momentum and from that the market tried to stay above 446 uh, so the price closed near 446 so what we can do today and for this week today the expected price opening is going to be somewhere near 446 we are predicting the price opening based upon comex price direction there may be minor variation based on the rupee factor also now we know all the key zones the point one 442 is providing a very good support here you can see 442 is providing a very good support 
the last friday price action price action was entirely between this 446 and 442 so we know that 446 is going to be a key zone the next area is that 452 we saw earlier a uh, copper market came down below and tested a uh, created a new low uh, where it created a new low let us go back and see near 442 near 440 just because it couldn't stay above this 452 a failure to sustain above 450 to push the price down that is the next most important point we should take uh, we should take into account so if the price is staying above 446 if the price is staying or opening and the price staying above 446 will push the price till 452 so th the price what we can expect today if the price is staying above 446 the price will be testing 452 zone in the near term it may happen today or it may happen tomorrow because copper is not a very good volatile market we know that it is not like crude oil gold or silver it takes a steady step but uh, it, it is a wonderful commodity to trade on uh. so if the price is opening near or above 446 uh, you can expect the price to test 452 but again if there is a failure like what happened here if the market is taking a continuous resistance near 446 then what will happen it will be pushed down till 442 and the next target can be 437 so these are the two possible outcomes that can happen in today's trading in copper so you can expect if the price is opening above 446 you can expect our charting platform to provide you a blue color signal indicating because earlier also it provided a blue color signal indicating that the price can move up if it is staying above 446 it will show you an indication that the price is gaining some momentum for buying and the momentum can sustain till it reaches the resistance zone of 452 uh, whenever i say a resistance it is not an exact line near plus or minus near that zone but this is going to be the key zone for copper traders so i am going to mark this the trend deciding zone is going to be 452 so this is going to be a very key zone for copper traders we will be targeting this 452 zone in this complete week for the week for this complete week we will be targeting this zone the market key reference zone is going to be 452 for this contract uh, that is a major reason why we are following this we why we request you to follow this video presentation because uh, we identify the key zone so if the price is uh, staying above this it will provide a blue color indication or charting platform but if it is not sustaining above 446 today and if there is a failure then ultimately it will be pushed down to 442 a breakdown below 442 will be a strong indication for downtrend so you should be very careful while trading this zone whenever the price consolidate it gives us a lot of opportunity to pick the trend so let us see what's going to happen during the trading session and thanks a lot for watching our videos happy trading take care bye